I've been having this abnormal bleeding for the past three weeks. But after the prayers of the man of God last night, miraculously the abnormal healing stopped and now I am healed. And also we bring you this one from Bernard uh, from Cross River State who said that he's been having pain in his knee but in his knee but after the prayers of the man of God the pain disappeared and now he is healed and we also bring you this testimony from um, Port Hakon of how God healed from uncomfortable toothache the Lord healed him from uncomfortable toothache during this crusade said so after the prayer of the man of God the pain disappeared and also we'll bring you this one coming from thank god sunday who wrote i was having severe pains inside my ear that i couldn't place my hand in my ear but after the prayers of the man of god tonight i received my healing the pains in the ear is gone and now we'll return to the moderating overseer as we bring you more testimony online later any more testimony? Jesus. Praise the Lord. We have here Okoye Precious, who never had worked since she was born. Put your hands together. Hallelujah. My name is Okoye Precious. I've never worked since I was born. Is Jesus? Do you know why he's so great? After three days, he rose from death. I've never seen a man who rose from death like Jesus Christ. Do you know? Do you know why he is Jesus? Do you know why he's so great? After three days, he rose from death. I've never seen a man who rose from death like Jesus Christ. That is why he's Lord. He's Lord. Amen. He has risen from the dead. He's Lord. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. He is Lord. He is Lord. Amen. He has risen from the dead. He is Lord. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Every knee must bow every tongue confess that jesus christ is the lord every knee must bow and every tongue confess that jesus christ is the lord hallelujah jesus is the lord hallelujah hallelujah jesus is the lord hallelujah jesus is the lord hallelujah hallelujah jesus is the lord 
Jesus Christ is the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus is the Lord. Hallelujah. In heaven. On earth, Jesus is the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is the Lord. Jesus Christ is the my Lord can do all things, so oh, yes, he can do all things, amen. My Lord can do all things, my Lord can save you, oh yes, he can save you. My Lord can deliver, oh yes, he can deliver, amen. My Lord can heal the sick, my Lord can raise the dead. My Lord can do all things, oh yes, he can do all things, amen. That wonderful name, Jesus, that wonderful name, Jesus, that wonderful name, Jesus, there is no other name I know, that wonderful name. Jesus, oh yes, that wonderful name, Jesus, that wonderful name, Jesus, there is no other name I know, revive me, revive me, oh Lord, revive me, revive me, oh my Lord. Please revive me, Lord. Revive me, O oh Lord. Revive me. Revive me, O oh Lord. Revive me. Revive me, O oh my Lord. Revival. Pentecostal revival. Revival. Pentecostal revival. Revival, Pentecostal revival, we need your revival, Pentecostal revival, 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 Pentecostal revival, revival, Pentecostal revival. We need your revival, Pentecostal revival. I can see the finger of God rewriting my story. Rewriting my story. I can see the finger of God. Today, today, rewriting my story. I can see the finger of God. Tonight, tonight, rewriting my story. Jesus, the same, the truth and the life. Whosoever come to him shall never die. Jesus, the way. The truth and the life, whosoever cometh to him shall never die. Jesus the way is the truth and the life, whosoever cometh to him shall never die. The life, whosoever cometh to him shall never die. Jesus the same yesterday, today and forever, he is the same today and mighty to save. Today and forever, he is the same today and mighty to save my seeds. Christian yesterday, today and forever, he is the same today and mighty to save. Yes, he is the same today, and mighty to save. He is able, abundantly able, 
to deliver and to save is able abundantly able to deliver those who trust in him trust in the lord abundantly able to deliver and to save my god is able abundantly able to deliver those who trust in him the man of calvary he's done it before in your life in my life he will do it again jesus of nazareth he's done it before he man he will do it again jesus of galilee he has done it before in your life in my life he will do it again jesus of calvary he has done it before he will do it again jesus conquered the world and gave us victory 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 hallelujah and gave us victory 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 hallelujah hallelujah jesus conquered the world and gave us victory 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 hallelujah hallelujah oh yes and gave us victory 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 hallelujah by the anointing jesus breaks the yoke by the holy ghost and power just as the prophet said this is the day of the latter days god is moving in his power again by the anointing jesus breaks the yoke it's not by power it's not by might by my spirit saith the lord it's not by power it is not by might saith the lord this mountain shall be removed this mountain shall be removed in jesus name this mountain shall be removed by my spirit saith the lord it's not by power it's not by might by my spirit saith the lord the lord knows the way through the wilderness all i have to do is to follow the lord knows the way through the wilderness all i have to do is to follow the lord knows the way through the wilderness all i have to do is to follow the lord knows the way through the wilderness all i have to do is to follow strength for today each time of the way and all that i need for tomorrow the lord knows the way through the wilderness all i have to do is to follow follow through the wilderness all i have to do is to follow the lord knows the way through the wilderness all i have to do is to follow 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 i will follow jesus anywhere everywhere i will follow him follow follow 
I will follow Jesus. Anywhere he leads me, I will follow him. Follow, follow. I will follow Jesus. Anywhere, yes, everywhere. I will follow him. Follow, follow. I will follow Jesus. Anywhere he leads me, I will follow him. Amen. I have found Jesus. Amen. He is able to do all things. Hallelujah. Amen. He is able to do all things. Amen. I have found Jesus Christ. Amen. My God is able to do all things. Hallelujah. Amen. I have found Jesus. Amen. My God is able to do all things. Hallelujah. Expect a miracle when you pray. Expect a miracle when you pray. Expect a miracle when you pray. There is power sitting on the throne. Expect a miracle when you pray. When you pray. Expect a miracle when you pray. There is power sitting on the throne. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the Son of God that he should repent. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the Son of God that he should repent. Behold, I've received commandment to bless, and he has blessed, and I cannot reverse it, for God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the Son of Man that he should repent. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the Son of Man that he should repent. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the Son of Man that he should repent. Behold, I've received commandment to bless and he has blessed and i cannot reverse it for god is not a man that he should lie neither the son of man that he should repent be with me tonight oh never let me by be with me tonight and never pass me by let tonight be my night, O oh Lord. Let tonight be my night, O oh Lord. Oh, never let me by. Be with me tonight and never pass me by. Let tonight be my night, O oh Lord. Let tonight be my night, O oh Lord. Be with me tonight and never pass me by. Be with me tonight and never pass me by. Let tonight be my night, O oh Lord. Let tonight be my night, O oh Lord. Pass me not, O oh gentle Savior. Hear my humble cry. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by, do not pass me by, Savior, Savior, hear my humble cry. While on others thou art
not fall in. Do not pass me by. Do not pass me by. Savior, Savior, hear my humble cry. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. Something you've never known, something you've never heard of, miracle. Somebody shout, miracle. It will come upon your life in Jesus' name. Raise up those anointed hands. Father, in Jesus' name, we exalt you tonight, glorify you tonight. We're full of expectation tonight. I will pray, Lord, you will shower your blessings now upon everyone in Jesus' name. Roll every mountain away. Touch every life tonight and direct us to Calvary so that at Calvary, Every need will be met, supplied in Jesus' name. Save souls tonight. Sanctify your people tonight. Feel what the Holy Ghost tonight. Heal the sick tonight. Work miracles in every life tonight in Jesus' name. I will pray that that same Jesus, with the same power, the same anointing, and the same authority will manifest himself in every life tonight in Jesus' name. Do something new in every life. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you and make your amen real in your life. We're coming to Hebrews chapter 13. I'm reading from verse 8. Hebrews chapter 13, we're looking at verse 8. It says, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. Look at that again. It's talking about Jesus, the Son of God. Talking about Jesus, our Savior, our Lord, our Redeemer. Talking about Jesus. The one that was born of Virgin Mary. There's nobody like him. And there's no other salvation from any other place except from this Jesus. And he tells us, this Jesus is the same. There's no change. And there is no alteration. The same power, yet days gone by, he has that same power today. The same authority. And the same mountain moving authority and power. He has that today. This same Jesus, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today, even this very day, you'll find him the same in your life. The same Jesus, the same Savior, the same Redeemer, the same Healer, the same Defender that comes to protect you. And what he did before, he'll do in your life today. He'll save your soul. I was waiting for an amen there. Yeah. It will heal your sick body. Blind eyes, it will open. The lame will rise up and walk. And every challenge you have that you have brought here tonight, like he did in days gone by, is going to perform a miracle in your life. For Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and for how long? Forever. What does that mean? That means as long as this world exists and as long as there are people that are praying, as long as there are people that are expecting from him and looking up to him and saying, here we are today, what you did years gone by. Do it today, because the same yesterday, today, and forever, he'll do it in your life. We're coming to Luke chapter 4. Let's look at the way he walked yesterday. Years gone by, yesteryears. 
so that you'll understand what he's going to do today because something must happen in your life tonight. And what he's going to keep on doing every time we mention his name because this same Jesus is here tonight. He's there by your side. He will do something. I said he will do something. Luke chapter 4, I'm reading from verse 18. It says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Here is Jesus Christ announcing to the people, proclaiming to the people, declaring to the people the spirit of the Lord. That's the spirit of power. The spirit that brings anointing because he has anointed me to preach, to proclaim the gospel to the poor. That is, there is good news for the poor. The poor cannot pay for salvation. Nobody can pay for salvation. The good news is that salvation will come to you. Those who cannot pay for a miracle, you cannot pay for the miracle of Christ because you are poor. And there's nothing to buy that miracle. There's good news to the poor tonight. A miracle is coming your way. The deliverance and the healing, the freedom, the victory that you cannot pay for. It says, it's giving him the anointing and the power so that the poor that have nothing to pay, it says, the gospel, the good news is coming to them. He has sent me to heal the broken hearted. Whatever has happened in your life, in your family, your spiritual life, in your domestic life, that brought broken heartedness. Tonight, the Lord will heal your broken heart. That thing you have lost will come back home. That thing you are looking for tonight is a night of discovery and a night of restoration. And it is yours in Jesus' name. And it says to preach deliverance, to perform deliverance, and to provide deliverance for the captives and the recovering of sight to the blind. Those dim eyes will become brighter tonight. And those blind eyes will be opened tonight. And then it says, and to search at liberty them that are bruised. Every yoke in your life broken. All the curse removed. Because it comes to set at liberty them that are bruised or bound. In verse 19, is to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book. And he gave it again to the minister. And he sat down. And the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. If you look on him tonight, and you focus on him tonight, and your mind, your heart, your spirit, your soul centers on Christ tonight, you are not going to go empty-handed. Verse 21, and he began to say unto them, I remember, it's the same yesterday and today and forever. And what is said yesterday is saying today. What is said to them is saying unto you. What's he telling you tonight? This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. This day, this is your day. I said this is your day. It says this day is this scripture. Every promise we're going to look at tonight will be fulfilled in your life. Every word of prophecy you hear tonight will be fulfilled in your life. Everything that Christ has paid for, provided on the cross of Calvary tonight, will be yours in Jesus' name. This day will not pass you by. That mountain must move. This day will not pass you by. That barrenness must be cancelled. This day will not pass you by. Those blind eyes will be opened. This day will not pass you by. That miracle is coming your way. The moment you stretch out your hand, lo and behold, it is given unto you. This day, this day is this scripture fulfilled 
in your ears and you are going to tell your testimony. Look at Mark. Mark chapter 7. In Mark chapter 7, I remember what we're looking at. Jesus Christ, the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. In Mark chapter 7, verse 37. And they were beyond measure astonished. Beyond measure surprised. Beyond measure amazed. Saying, he has done all things well. Did you hear that? I said, did you hear that? Look at the person beside you and say, he has done all things well. Look at them. Don't, don't, don't look now. Don't look on the ground. It's not doing it on the ground. It's doing it in the life of that person. You are looking. Look at them. Look at them. He has done all things well. Wipe your tears away. Take the sorrow away. Take all the doubts away because he will do all things well in your life tonight in Jesus' name. You're going to go out of this place and you're going to tell your neighbor and you're going to tell the people you're going in the bus, you say, something happened to me. In the car, something happened to me. And as you get back home, something happened to me. And then they say, what? He said, can I begin to tell you, he has done all things well. My sorrow is gone. My suffering is gone. My heartache is gone. My broken heart is gone. My doubt is gone. All the pressures are gone. He, Christ, who has not changed, he, Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever, he has done, tell me, tell me, all things well. It will happen to you tonight. Hey, look at this, look at this, Acts chapter 10. Acts chapter 10, I'm reading from verse 38. Acts chapter 10, verse 38, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth, that same Jesus, he has not changed, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about, who went about, what happened? Doing good, is coming to your side today. That place you are sitting is coming there tonight. A hand will touch you. An anointing will flow through your life. In that place where you have the challenge, in that place where you have the problem, he will do good in your life in Jesus' name. He went about doing good. Healing. 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 My name is there. I said, my name is there. There is no discrimination. There is no partiality. He looks at you today. He said, I can fix that. I can do that. I can solve that problem. I can remove that mountain. If you open the door tonight and you say, Lord, I am here. Something is about to happen. Because it's going around to everyone and it's healing all that are oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. Remember? Jesus Christ, the same, tell me. Yesterday, tell me more. And today, tell me the rest. And forevermore. Tonight, I'm talking to you on full redemption and restoration through this same Jesus. Full redemption and restoration through this same Jesus. It is not just a message, it's a ministration unto you. Full redemption for you tonight. Full restoration for you tonight. Through this same Jesus, those people in the good old days, they got it. And you, who am I talking to? I said you, who am I talking to there? You are getting something. You 
run this way, a miracle will meet you there. You bend down, a miracle will raise you up. And you are kind of wobbling, a miracle will set you straight tonight. Miracle. Shout it. Miracle. It will come upon your life tonight in Jesus' name. Full redemption and restoration through this same Jesus. Three things we're looking at. Number one, the promised redeemer and redemption. The promised redeemer and redemption. Number two, the present restorer and restoration. Today, today, the present restorer. Because in the present tense, in the day in which we're living today, while you're sitting down there, there'll be present restoration in your life in Jesus' name. Number three, prompt response and realization. Prompt response and realization. That means your miracle is now. Your miracle is immediate. Instantaneously tonight, you will feel it. You will sense it. You will know it. You will possess it in Jesus' name. Number one, the promised redeemer and redemption. You see, there were people in the past, they were looking ahead. The redeemer is coming. The redemption is coming. And they thought it was very, very far away. Look at this Job. I'm reading from chapter 19. Job, chapter 19. And I'm reading from verse 25. Job, chapter 19. I'm reading from verse 25. It says, for I know. You know, when you come to the Lord, you cannot be dilly dallying. When you come to the Lord, you cannot be up and down. When you come to the Lord, you cannot be thinking and doubting. You have to have this assurance. I know. I'm standing here and I know. I said I know. I know that your case is in the hand of Jesus tonight. I know. Somebody shout, I know. I know that your problems are solved tonight. I know that your salvation is secured tonight. I know that your healing is coming tonight. I know that the deliverance is certain tonight. You know, that's the reason we're here. We're here because we know. We know that Jesus said, where two or three are gathered in my name there, I'll be in the midst of them. And Job, Job was suffering. All the people that surrounded him, they were trying to comfort him. But he said, you are all comforters that are miserable, miserable comforters. They didn't say the right thing. He said, you don't know, you don't know, you don't know. But I know. Somebody there tonight, I know. For I know, I know, I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And though after my skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh, yet in my flesh, I shall see God, whom I shall see for myself. And my eyes shall behold him, and not another. The man, look at how different the man was. Boils all over the body, pain all over the body, loss of children, loss of servants, loss of farm, loss of business. He said, I'm going to get more. I said, I'm going to get more. Disappointment, he said, everything is going to turn around. And then he said, whom I shall see for myself, and mine eyes shall behold, and not another, though my rays be consumed within me. As you think about that, 
he actually, as you look at what he said, I know that my Redeemer liveth. And I know that he shall stand at the latter time. He wasn't uh, thinking about the last chapter of Job. He was thinking about a far, far future. And then he said, at that time, I will see him. What happened? Look at chapter 42. Chapter 42. I'm reading from verse 1. Job answered the Lord and said, I know. This man is always saying, I know. I think you also should always say, I know. At the time of prayer, I know. At the time of ministration, I know. At the time of standing upon the promises that cannot fail, I know. At the time when the healing is taking place, I know. And thank God tonight, I know. I know that thou canst do everything and that no thought can be withholding from thee. Look at verse 5. I have heard of thee by the hearing of the ear, but, tell me, but now mine eyes sees thee. He thought it would be at the latter day. I will see him. He thought it would be at the far future. I will see him. But the Lord came to his rescue earlier than he thought. Your prayers are answered earlier than you thought. Your miracles are coming earlier than you thought. The body is taken away earlier than you thought. All you need to maintain in your heart is that I know. I know. I know. And it will be done. Look at verse 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job. Thank God he knew. I say, thank God he knew. And thank God I know. Thank God I know. Thank God I know. He was talking about a far future, but immediately, look at what happened to him. The Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Also, the Lord gave Job, tell me yourself, twice as much as he had before. Double. 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 Do you really believe that tonight? It will happen to you in Jesus' name. I know that my Redeemer lives. And that I will see him. You saw him, you will see him. Proverbs chapter 23 verse 11. For the Redeemer is mighty. They shall plead their cause with thee. Satan might be against you. Jesus, the Redeemer, will confront him for you tonight. Any evil power, any evil oppression, oppressors, they might gang around like in a conspiracy. Christ, your Redeemer, is mighty. He will scatter them tonight. Enemies in the day, Enemies in the night, enemies across your way that said you will not make it. Laugh at them. I said laugh at them. They do not understand, they do not know what you know, that your Redeemer is mighty. And he shall plead their cause with thee. I say, chapter 63. We're talking about the Redeemer and the redemption. The Redeemer and the redemption. Isaiah chapter 63. I'm reading from verse 16. This is good. And this is for me. I said this one is for me. Isaiah chapter 63. Reading from verse 16. Doubtless thou art our father. No doubt... The Almighty God is your father. Though Abraham be ignorant of us, what? 
What's that talking about? It's talking about Gentiles. Gentiles. Though Abraham be ignorant of us, and Israel acknowledge us not. Israel, as a nation, the Jewish people, they say, uh, get away. You are a Gentile. And they push you away. It says, though Abraham be ignorant of us, and Israel acknowledge us not, thou, O Lord, art our Father. Personal now, personal now. Thou, O Lord, art my Father. The Jews may not know you. Israel may not know you. Those people in the old covenant may not know you. They say, you are a Gentile. You are a black man. You are a black woman. But God is your father. I say, God is your father. And our Redeemer. Make that personal. Make it personal. My Redeemer. Thy name is from everlasting. It's been there from all eternity. He knows about the depth of the problem, the height of the problem, but he has all power because he's eternal. Congratulations tonight. Redemption has come to you. Luke chapter 1. In Luke chapter 1, redemption. I said redemption. You will not die in slavery. You will not die with that sickness. You will not die in sin. Redemption has come for you. I said redemption has come for you. Luke chapter 1. I'm reading from verse 68. Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God. God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people. His people, are they there tonight? His people, are they present here tonight? He has visited, there's a divine visitation tonight, and redeemed his people. He has raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of David, his servant. And then he goes on to say, as he spake, by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies. I thought you would say amen there. Yeah. Private enemies, you are saved from them. Public enemies, you are saved from them. Hidden enemies, you are saved from them. Boasting enemies, you are saved from them. Conspiring enemies. And those enemies, they, they, they say so what they say, he doesn't know anything. She doesn't know anything. I brought down so and so, I'll bring him down. I brought down so and so, I'll bring her down. They don't know the person they are talking about. I said they don't know the person they are talking about. Your case will flaw them. Your case will destroy them. They have tried it with so and so. Those ones don't have any redeemer. And they have tried it with so and so. Those ones do not have any redeemer. And then they now face you. Uh -huh. Their end has come. Because it says that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which is swear to our father Abraham that he would grant us that being delivered out of the hand personal, personal, of my enemies, my serving, without fear. The Lord is talking about you. Fears in the night, gone. 
fears of occultism gone fear of juju people gone fear of something coming from the village gone fear of something coming from the river gone fear from your place of work gone fear of poverty gone pray fear of whatever they said whoever said it gone in jesus name that he will grant unto me that he will grant unto me that i been delivered out of the hand of my enemies might serve him without fear in holiness wonderful now the time has come you are going to be holy holier than you ever thought in your life you have been thinking can i be holy can i be holy grace will come in your life power will come in your life the kind of holiness that will surprise you yourself and you'll say is that me is that me i'm talking about you i said i'm talking about you in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life that's redemption you are going to have total redemption and it is the promise of god the promise of christ and it is coming upon your life look at galatians chapter 3 galatians chapter 3 reading from verse 13 god has redeemed us from the curse of the law every curse is taken off your head every curse is taken out of your education every cause is taken out of your business every cause is taken out of your family christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse for us he has carried everything away for it is written cause it is everyone that hangs on a tree that the blessing of abraham might come on the gentiles through jesus christ i'm going to go back to the beginning of verse 14 i need to make this one personal now that the blessing of abraham might come on me through jesus christ and that we i might receive you are going to receive something tonight. I said you are receiving something tonight. You might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Colossians, Colossians chapter 1, verse 13. Was delivered us, was delivered me from the power of darkness. Don't go away yet. Look at all the things they are talking about. Grandma spoke about that. Grandpa spoke about that. Those wicked people, those wicked powers, powers of darkness, see what they did. See what they did. See what they did. And they buried something there. And they hid something there. And they did one sacrifice there. The Lord has singled you out. Out of that family, under oppression, under a curse, under depression. And they say, they always die young. You will live long. Because it says, he has delivered us, me, from the power of darkness and yes there is a don't read everything yet there is a spiritual aeroplane and the lord puts you inside that aeroplane and where there's trouble translated you out 
calamity, it translated you out. Sickness, it translated you out. Oppression, it translated you out. And it took you to the heavenly places. All the mountains, that spiritual aeroplane flew over there. All the valleys, that spiritual aeroplane flew over there. All the ditches, all the traps of the devil, all the snares, that aeroplane flew over there. And it landed you onto victory. Landed you in success. Read that thing again to see now if you understand. Who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has, and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son in whom we have we have are you going to have it by and by 10 years to come next year when do you have redemption when do you have deliverance when do you have healing when do you have your miracle when do you have freedom See, it says, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. When will he forgive your sin? Of course, it's done. Now, Titus chapter 2. Titus chapter 2, reading from verse 11. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared to all men. The grace of God that bringeth forgiveness has appeared unto all men. The grace of God that bringeth conversion has appeared unto all men. The grace of God that bringeth healing has appeared unto all men. The grace of God that bringeth deliverance has appeared unto all men. It's appearing to you. It's appearing to you. And the moment you embrace it and take it, that grace is yours tonight in Jesus' name. Teaching us that denying ungodliness and what they lost, we should live soberly. Now I can be sober. Righteously, now I can be righteous. Godly, now I can be godly when I said when in this present world looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Look at this who gave himself, who gave himself, who gave himself for you, for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good works coldness is driven away from your life living a so so life I'm always tired always weak Lukewarm, anemic, no backbone, no stress, managing life. Look up at me. That thing is gone. A life of excitement, a life of joy, a life of zeal, a life of power, a life of authority. A life of authority and excitement and enthusiasm. A life when all the enemies and all the enemies of progress, they clear out of your way in Jesus' name. I could not stand, I could not sit, I could not bend, I could not talk, I could not hear, I could not confront anything. You know, and I'm telling them, leave me alone, leave me alone. Don't worry about leaving you alone. They have left you alone already. 
you will stand and you'll be strong in Jesus' name.